Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Weathering Waves. I uh, took a little break from the game because I was getting a little bit, uh, I was getting a little bit annoyed with the fact that we had to do all these side quests to get to the main story. But uh, after a little bit of time off from it, I'm ready to kind of dive back in. Also, just because uh, some of the other games I've been trying out just haven't caught my fancy. So uh, we already have some progress into this, and we'll go ahead and keep trying and see how far we can get into it before I lose interest again. <laughs> it is a very pretty game, and, it, you know, some of the mechanics and stuff are kind of fun. And uh, it does seem like we may be able to move on with the main story now. I thought we had to get to level 14, but uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case now. Or, or maybe it was level 12, and we've meet, we've finally gotten to level 12, and we're ready to continue on. So let's go find out what's next with the main story quest, and hopefully we can just keep focusing on that. Where did it go? Anyone hurt? Let me <laughs> check on you. You're still in one piece. Of course okay, I am. Okay, okay. Anything new about the tokens? So those Fraxidus goons are here in Jinjo now? Things are more serious than I thought. I wonder what they're it's up to. Me. I've only ran into some bozos before. Those wackos are hell-bent on making their own resonators. Said there's no right or wrong when it comes to resonance powers. They use mechanical manipulation to integrate parts of tacit discords into human bodies, seeking power with such gruesome acts. That scar guy you mentioned sounds like he's on a whole other level. He... um... It seems he didn't intend to kill us. I don't know what he wants from us. But Madam Magistrate may have intended to hint something by letting us run into him. I still can't wrap my head around what happened in that village. I went over the files. That case is ancient. What happened to the village in the end? Don't worry. The crooks were brought to justice and most of the villages were relocated to new settlements. But I didn't find anything in the files about that little girl you mentioned. So Scar really did take her away. Maybe they had plans for her. If only we could capture him. Ah, uh, I'm so lost. Why did Madam Magistrate point you to Chi-Chi Village anyway? And that Scar went there to tamper with the site and mislead you with fake clues. Or maybe it's the other way around. The Fraxidus was planning to tell you something about what had happened in that village. Then our Magistrate intercepted by leading you there before they could? Maybe she knew what was going to happen. Madam Magistrate knew they were going to lure you. Her token was a warning that the Fraxidus had their eyes on you. Well, uh, we wouldn't How's be so? in any real danger. Um, Jinjo's way of hospitality, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Maybe she's got someone looking out for you. Or maybe she prepared other means of protection. What's the matter, Rose? The legendary figure who changed Jinjo's history? A looming war with the resurrecting Thrinodian and the Fraxidus acting in the shadows. If all of these have something to do with your true identity, then who exactly are you? Who knows? Come Let's see if she has the answer. The sundial's the last token we need to work out. Mr. Mortify said it's an intricate puzzle box. Madam Magistrate might have hid her real message inside. <clears throat> Uh, we learned about the direction in the yes. village. It's the south. Represented by the Vermilion Bird. Now we have the Shichen of Wei and Vermilion Bird. We should be able to solve the puzzle. Okay. So are we just going to open it up or what's the deal? So Rover, you going to try? Symbols on the larger disc represent time. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... <clears throat> uh, probably wasn't paying atten enough attention to know which one it is, but I'm just going to pick one and hopefully it's right. <laughs> I don't have the patience for puzzles and stuff, so... It's working. Symbols on the smaller disc represent direction. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. We have Teal Long of the East. White Tiger so we need Vermilion of the, of the South. Vermilion Bird of the South. So I got lucky with the first one, and I know it's the Vermilion Bird because they just told me it was the South. Wow, you really <laughs> solved it! So this is the last message the Magistrate has for me. This is the location of the Grand Library. Wait, I don't think it's something we're allowed to see. Quick, Yang Yang, we should turn around. 
Nothing you can't see. Maybe you should read it first, Rover. It's about the Grand Library. The Grand Libraries in Huanglong are renowned for their vast databases, holding valuable information about the regions they represent. Their exact locations are kept confidential, but it is believed they hold answers to all questions one could ask. The Grand Libraries are vital for Huanglong's data security, managed by the regional sentinels Accessible only to the magistrates. Kind of like a big piggy bank inside the city hall, data-wise. Yes. You will find the most comprehensive and accurate information there. Rover, if you need to visit the Grand Library in Jinzhou to find out who you are, I think it suggests two things. First, there is a strong link between your past and Jinzhou's history. Second, you must be a really significant person. So you're super important to Jinzhou, maybe even all of Wang Long. Wow, I think we stumbled upon a real big shot when we didn't even know it. We'll find out, I guess. What's the matter, Rover? Something wrong with a sundial? Is the city hall at the center? It is Jinzhou's political center, and it's also located at the city center. If that's what you mean. The city hall was built when Jinjo was established. It's a popular landmark for locals giving directions. Why do you ask, Rover? Uh, I think she wants to meet me alone. I don't know. See, what did I say? Covert ops. Real confidential stuff going on. Mm. Come on, Yang Yang. It's just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Madam Magistrate. Relax, relax. Indeed. I guess you're right. Still, please be careful. We'll be well, waiting for you. I have a feeling we're going to be taken prisoner or something. <laughs> Seems like the kind of thing that would actually happen. So now we need to um, head over to... Oh, yeah, okay. Take the fast way, I guess. Is this an elevator that's going to take me up? Hmm. Ah, okay. Here we go. And up we go. Enjoy the view as we head up to the top. Assuming this is where we're going. It's been a long... I don't know if we've been up here before, and we may have been in one of the earlier episodes, but we've had so much, so many uh, side questy kind of things happening that I just... I don't remember most of this anymore. <clears throat> Soul 3, the third planet from the sun. Hmm, I wonder what solar system we're in. Top left corner of the map carries a highlight mark. This may indicate the location of the puzzle. Is it going to mark it for me, or is this one of those things I have to figure out myself? Top left corner of the map. <sighs> oh, wait. Oh, am I supposed to look at this thing here? Or not. Move the vases to the correct pos... What? I'm not a fan of puzzles. Oh, okay. Well, top left corner. Okay. I probably should have figured that out, but whatever. I'm not the best at puzzles. So we're entering a solo challenge, which is fine with me. I play all my games solo. Passage, as I expected. That must be the entrance to the database.
part of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. Yeah, another check puzzle. Guess I'll mechanism in the middle first. Gather five tones to uh, to align in tune. A bell shall guide your path. Find keynotes to determine tone. Archive shall be unmasked. I see. The control panel here does look like a musical instrument, but five music notes seem to be missing. So to gain access to the database, I will need to recover the five missing notes stored on those sono discs. What is that sound coming from behind the symphony? I think that's probably one of the things this we need. This must be one of the missing notes. Now, how do I connect it with the symphony? So we have to go find four of these somewhere around here. Part of the score holder just lit up, as I expected. The drum over there seems to have unlocked. Okay. The bell just raised out of the water. So that's what it meant by having the bells guide my path. So I'm guessing I have to jump. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Do I have to jump across? Right. Oh. A new walkway has shown up. I must have solved the first puzzle. It seems I will need to look for more sono discs in there. Works for me. Tessa discords inside the city hall. No, oh. they are not real. They must be some kind of digital simulation. It seems they are the guards here. Interesting how I'm not hearing sirens, despite having destroyed every one of them, apart from the simulated tacit discords. Multiply 54 with four thirds for the frequency you seek for this note in the west where while the prophet is beyond reach. I suppose it's telling me where I can find the next sono disc. I think it mentioned a direction. What does that last sentence mean, though? That sound. It's coming from the west. Okay. This is the second sono disc. I should bring it to the symphony. Agreed. Okay, so that's two out of five. Oh, the water's going down now. The water level just dropped again. There's another two drums, one in the east and another in the west. I may find more sono discs down there. Yeah, I would think so. So this is the right way to go. I'm being fed just enough information to work out the puzzle. This does look like Miss Magistrate's doing. Okay, one second. <sighs> Guess the this drum way. on the other side is unlocked. Guess I'll go check on it before I leave. Just to be safe. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Another bell just rose up from the water, but it's still locked. I'll need to connect the passageways first. The music I just heard, it must be the sono disc. I would think so. Here it is. Time to deal with the guards. Oh, yeah. Jinjo City Hall is the political hub, while the Grand Library holds vital data. Considering how I just took out all those guards, I've retrieved the third sono disc. Time to head back. Oh, wait, we gotta get up there. How do I. Oh, nice chest. I'll pick Unexpected it up. Unexpected discovery.
do do. So is there a? I was hoping there was gonna be a grappling hook thingy for me there, but it does not appear so. So how do I get back up top? Oh wait, okay, I didn't notice that there. Follow the quest markers, mm -hmm. dummy. Very nice. Another platform. The bells will lead my path. Huh. I'll go work out the passageways. Okay. Oh, duh. Hit the thing. <laughs> this is why I don't do well at puzzles. I forget things almost immediately. Alright, let's wait for the marker to update. Come on. Still not in the right spot. Oh, okay. My impatience is always the death of me. This feeling. I'm being watched. Must be another sono disc. Where is it telling me to go? Alright, one second. All right, sorry, I keep getting interrupted with real life stuff, but uh, they have to be dealt with. What am I supposed to investigate the room? What it's telling me, so I guess, what, we hop down here? Ah. This is the fourth missing note. Almost there. So that's four out of five, and you have two more to, gr or one more to grab after this. Now the water is all gone. One last note to go. I gotta remember. This is the last one. They've prepared quite the welcome for me. Oops. That's what I get for not paying attention. Let me be your blade. Appear before me. Here we go with the fighting. Oops. Works. I have the last sauna disc ready. Uh, Time to go back to the Symphondi. I guess this one. And ideally, okay, yeah, it's gonna take us around. So I guess we're gonna have to go kind of the long way around. Oh, nope, there's an elevator. Sweet, I love it when they make it easy. I'm a big fan of easy. <laughs> so much in life is hard enough. Why make it? Why make anything harder than it has to be? All right, here we go. Open the door. Activate another bridge here. Get this turned in. And now we're able to go into the through the now next I area. Should have access to the database. And up we go. Yeah, I, I just I have this thing where I keep forgetting to switch back and forth between the characters sometimes. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Now we'll access the database. So this is the Grand Library. I'm not seeing anyone here. Well, it wouldn't hurt to browse the archives for a bit, is it? All right. I imagine she's going to show up in the middle. Thank you for leading the way, Rover. Oh, come what on, a really? Magnificent place to set foot in. Extensive, exhaustive, 
Oh, how I want to carve the place inside out and blow it all to shreds. <sighs> we have to fight I this guy. I'm a bit more surprised. I wonder why. So you've laid a trap for me. Interesting. Do you really think you can trap me here? You will not escape. What a shame I can't stay and play with you a bit longer. Till we meet again, dear friends. You're not going anywhere. Little do we know. <laughs> One with the sounds. Transmitting frequency. Ow, 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 come on. One with the sounds. Oops, facing the wrong way. Where is he? Swift and resolute. Moment of resonance. Administering first aid. Appear before me. I think my problem is, is I continually interrupt my abilities because I don't realize that there is actually a like a sequence that they go through. One with the sounds. Let me be your blade. So I just gotta get used to like being patient and waiting. Acceptable damage. One with the sounds. Rejuvenating snow. One with the sounds. The end has come. Let me be your blade. Storm, hear my command. Precipitous. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Swift and resolute. Ha! One with the sounds. <laughs> the hour is upon us. One with the sounds. Yo, 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 come on, let me go. Let me go. Swift and resolute. I sense your weakness. Let the winds roar. Disperse. One with the sounds. Appear before me. All right, finish that one off. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Did you just up 
offer yourself up to be my prey? <laughs> now, it's just the two of us. Stow away that irrational anger of yours. I just have a friendly reminder for you. What the? Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? Don't jump to conclusions so soon. Why are you so stubborn? Why can't you place some of that trust in me? Or do I have to crush you to make you behave for once? Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Storm, hear my command. Hey. Appear before me. Ow. That's a really annoying ability. to avoid as much of the stuff as I can, but it's just... End has come. Let me be your blade. Captain! Appear before me. Break. One with the sounds. Swift and resolute. Oh, he tricked me. Oh, oh come on. Let me, no, let me move. Let me move. One more time. Keep it together. That hurt. Sounds come forth. Hi. Appear before me. One with the sounds. The hour is upon us. Let me be your blame. Endless reverberation. And oversight. Like having her healing ability. Where'd he go? Oh, no, no, come on. Swift and resolute. I sense your weakness. One with the sounds. Ah, uh, you moved out of my way. Oh, I barely dodged that one. Nope, come on, keep on. Keep on, keep on. Where'd he go? Bad time. Oh, here we go again with this crazy bashy thingy. Didn't hurt that bad though. Slam, slam. All right, fine. I can get, I can get something back with you. Ah, uh, he moved just as I press the button. Boo! <laughs> That's so annoying when that happens. And there it goes. Ha. 
Ow, 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 ow. And boom. Just trying to get her resonance ability going. Now we can get back on our main guy. He'll dish out a little bit more damage. Try to get him. So I'm wondering if the best plan of action for these, for these is just to keep on one guy until I'm able to use a resonance and then, then switch. I don't know. Let me be your blade. I think that I'm, I'm wondering if maybe switching around too much is actually hurting me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What's the best strategy for that? Should I, just, should I hurry up and try to get to a resonance and then move on to the next character? Obviously, I should. I need to learn to wait until it's done. It's hard to tell though, because there's just there's so much there's so much going on. It's hard to know what what the deal is. One with the sounds. But I feel like switching back and forth and being able to use my abilities repeatedly is probably the best way to go. So I don't know. No hesitation. Go again with the disappearing act. I didn't mean to switch characters, wrong button. One with the sounds. Appear before me. Hit him, hit him. Let the winds roar. And that takes care of him. Or at least this version of him. Who knows what's actually gonna happen. You knew I was following you all along, huh? My Elysium only breaks under coordinated attacks from both sides. I can never get rid of all these pesky little helpers around you. So you've joined hands against me with Miss Magistrate here. You're always so, so popular. Are you all right, Rover? I'm fine. Of course he is. How could I ever have the heart to hurt him? Consider my moment of failure a gift of sincerity, Rover. I trust you haven't forgotten our conversation earlier. Choose me. I'll tell you everything you want. I already oh, know everything. I see. So she made the move before I could, and told you all of it already. Then ask the winners, would you be so kind as to tell me how you set me up? Okay, I guess they'll have a little bit of a thing there. <laughs> uh, what's going on now? Now I have retrieved the Magistrate's message for me from the puzzle box. But it only points me to the Grand Library. There's no meeting time. Something is... I've solved the puzzle. The discs have been rotated, and the two symbols are now glowing. With this glowing light, 
A shadow is cast onto two other symbols. The black tortoise of the north, north to the city hall. And the time reads, the shichin of Cho, in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> okay. So we're getting some kind of Tarantino-esque kind of backtracking thing. We didn't actually participate in this. This happened. This happened, and now we're remembering it or something. Like, what's the deal with this? I'm confused. It's been three days. We both made it on time. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Jinshi. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. Um, okay, hello. An emergency forced me to leave, and I only had the time to prepare some tokens for you. Please, pardon my lack of hospitality. Does it have something to do... Well, clearly she left us to deal with the Fraxidus, so yes. we'll see the other one. The Sentinel of Jinjo is currently absent. Aren't they supposed to stay Correct. in their domains? The Sentinel's guide and guard humanity is a symbol of our civilization. When a region's Sentinel goes absent, chaos is bound to ensue. Jinjo's Sentinel, Jue, is being held captive by the Fraxidus. I had to postpone our you meeting. You can resonate with the Sentinel? In yes. Our thoughts are connected, to a certain degree. I can sense its memories, feelings, and surroundings, though not very clearly. Have you found it yet? Unfortunately, I haven't. I can feel Jue is in danger. Precisely, is it Scar? The Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Overseer Scar had several objectives upon infiltrating Jinjo. To track you down, to test your strengths, and to make you join their cause. To They must have Why discovered me? your value. Likely from one of Jue's prophecies. Should you refuse to join, the Fraxidus will likely want to eliminate you so you don't get in their way. Okay. I have a plan to apprehend Scar. Once we capture him, the Fraxidus won't be that much of a threat to you for the time being. If you are willing to lend us a hand, I will ensure your safety during our cooperation. Makes sense to me. Thank Count you me for in. Your Why trust. not? Speaking of which, you seem to have already gathered a lot from the tokens. Uh, the point sundial the points to when we are meeting, and I learn more about my identi the identity. The threat Jinjo is facing is far worse than meets the eye. One of the Thrinodians will soon be reawakened. What are they? They are the enemies of human civilizations. We have been doing our best to prevent the disaster. But the Fraxidus is accelerating the Thrinodian's revival. And that has something Indeed. to do with me? You have defeated the Crownless and absorbed its echo with your bare hands. Resentment of the Fallen, fright of the ignoble, those are the emotions that lay ground for its birth. The Crownless is a tacit discord that possesses powers from the reviving Thrinodian. Jinjo is a border city with an unbreakable will and a strong spirit of resistance. However, we also fear the constant wars and loss of life. You, however, you were able to defeat and absorb a Thrinodian-related tacit discord with your bare hands. Meanwhile, Huanglong's records mention a hero with similar powers who saved our nation during the Thrinodian War. He is mentioned in literature dating back to Jinjo's establishment. To uncover your true identity, this could be a helpful lead to pursue. You believe that person and I could be related yes. in some way? Based on my own deduction and the prophecies of Jue. Uh, okay. You mean the unfinished statue of Jue? Hmm, I remembered something I when I saw it. Do you mind letting me know what you remembered? Since it's related to our sentinel, I might be able to help. Rover, the memories of which you speak. 
As anything I anything earlier, about them? I can resonate with Jui or Sentinel. Your recollections, they align with what I've witnessed in Jui's memories. Okay. Yes, I do remember seeing something similar. I believe it had truly happened in the past. In, in other, other words, words, you may be the person mentioned in our records, the unwavering presence by our sentinel's side, bonded by an unbreakable trust. I don't reckon resonators live resonators that long. Resonators tend to live a longer lifespan, but it is indeed unprecedented to live hundreds of years without any sign of aging. So many mysteries about you remain unsolved, and your age is just one of the unknowns. Guess we'll find out at some point. And how did I end up losing my memories? Sorry, but I don't know. Jue's last piece of information pointed to the Northfall Barons. I pray you will find your answers there. The Thranodian is resurrecting, and our nation is in grave danger. This reminds me of the Thranodian War all too much. Perhaps this has something to do with your mysterious appearance in Jinjo. You mean I showed up to protect it? Not really. I don't plan to believe in a hero showing up out of nowhere and protecting us. I am just presenting whatever lead I have about your past. As I know it is troubling you, I want to help you, and that is all there is to it. Thank you for considering lending us a hand. Your help is much appreciated. But please, do not feel obligated because of the information I shared. They are my people, and the responsibility to keep them safe should fall on no one else but my own shoulders. I am saying this because I have faith in my abilities. And even more so in the bravery of Jinjo's soldiers, and you deserve to make your own decision about this after uncovering your true identity. I appreciate everything you've done for us during the past few days, and perhaps even longer ago. Once it all settles, I am ready to accommodate and assist in whatever future decision you make. You can leave Jinjo or the entire Huanglong if you wish. If you ever need me again. You need only ask. Let's keep this a secret between the two of us. How does that sound? Makes sense to me. <laughs> Scar, you are now under arrest for committing multiple felonies in Huang Long. Do you have anything to say? What do I want to say, huh? While I'd love to tell you another story, I guess that's not what you want to hear. Let's cut to the chase, Madam Magistrate. I'm getting bored already. Very well. You will answer only our questions from now on. <laughs> sure, why not? What do you want to know? Uh, why did you a kidnap sentinel, that? such as Jue can predict and correct future events. We merely wanted to topple the set future built on lies and take control of our own destiny. Sure, why not? What do you okay, want to know? Okay, why are you obsessed the with Threnodians, this? They hold the key to our ideal. Together, they will bring us the promised true lament. Sure. Why not? Okay. What is the lament? Disaster. Disaster? Curse? Some kind of punishment? The lament brings death, destruction, and countless reverberations. Reverberations that will be reflected, overlapped, and interwoven during. Sure. So he's mostly just trying. They're mostly just trying to kick, cause chaos Our in the hopes that it works out in their favor, the provides same. them opportunities to rise we to the top. Want you? Want you to join us? Okay. And if I say no, too bad. We will. But I'm sure you'll. Well, sure. Why not? All right, we're done. You kidnapped Jue, and revived the Thrinodian, accelerating the next lament. This is proof enough that you are the enemy of Jinjo and all humanity. Stop dreaming. You can force Rover to join you. He is our honored guest, and I will not allow any harm to come his way. 
How confident you sound. As the Thranodian's resurrection approaches, Jinjo is barely holding on. How much longer do you think you can keep up this facade? Thank you for your concern. We have crushed your schemes once, and we can do it again. I have one last question for you. Abducting Jue, stalking Rover, and setting up an ambush in Chicher Village. You couldn't have accomplished that all on your own, unless... Unless I'm not the only overseer in Jinjo? I have answered all your questions with full honesty. I don't mind you knowing because it won't make any difference. You can try to stop us with all you have, but it's too late to change the course of history. And now, he breaks his bonds and runs away. Question for you. you seem convinced we caused the disappearance of Jue. What if I told you there was more to it? Would you be curious? About Jue? What else do you know? Come closer and I'll tell you, Madam Magistrate. How dare you! Madam Ma No. It can't be. Shocked, aren't you? But there's more. What if I told you your sentinel had made this prophecy a long, long time ago? Your all-seeing sentinel abandons you now of all times. We're merely adding a touch of extra fuel to the fire that will soon consume all. Rover, care for a wager? I know you've been searching for answers about your past, and I've got news for you. Watch out! You are one of us, the Black Lambs, and you have been chosen to join us, ushering in the new world. Once you discover what you really are, you will come to us with no hesitation. We'll see about that. Fraxidus awaits your arrival with open arms. And I look forward to that day in sincere anticipation. <laughs> All right, so he's put in jail. Cool. <laughs> These random blank screen text thingies are kind of ridiculous, but whatever. And Sorry, what did Scar tell you? What he mentioned about our sentinel is. Yeah, is it she a can't tell us. To create distrust among us. Or How important Jue is Jue to Jinjo? Sentinel of Jinjo. While I am the final decision maker, without the assistance of Jue, I cannot guarantee. You seem to be doing well you. enough on your own. Jue can predict the future, and up to this point, every one of its prophecies have been proven true. While justice may not be universally agreed upon, its decisions have consistently served. Perhaps the it best intended to let you that. make your own decisions. I suppose we will have to talk to it in person. In addition, Rover, Jue once told me to deliver a message to you, to the Awakened One. When raindrops fall upstream, please head to the Northfall so Barrens. So we're going to have to go to I the Northfall so. Barrens then. General Jian is currently battling another TD outbreak in the. But the ongoing war. Since you won't need to go there right now. Not until when the raindrops fall upstream. I know you're here for clues about your true identity. And I don't want you to leave the city empty-handed. Have you heard about the Black Shores? It's an organization shrouded in mystery. Upon your awakening, one of their members discreetly contacted me to gather information about you. But please don't worry. The Black Shores developed while operating in secrecy. They have been monitoring the situation thanks to their extra help. My meeting this Blake Bloom is their symbol. The Black Shores members usually wear it on their person. Okay. What do they want to achieve in here? The Black Shores I'm trying to hurry to get through this. This video has already been very long. They've come to inform us a Thranodian is a apart from that. And this photo is yours to keep. I will return with Jue shortly. Okay, are we done now? That was really long.
It's the only other thing about the about this game that just like kind of like grates on me is like the cutscene, the cut, the 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 part of not the the amount of not playing the game in this game Clover. is really extensive Are and it's kind of right? annoying. I saw something. I see. The Black, since you are likely being closely monitored, I suggest keeping an eye out for the Black Shore. I'll do my best to find Jue until this is my promise. Counting on you, then. Yes. All right, so she's going to look for Please. Jue. We're going to probably start talking to these Black Flower people. And uh, hopefully that will move us on to the next part of the story. I'm really hoping that we are now done with whatever this cutscene is, because, man, this has been 50 plus minutes of gameplay. <laughs> I guess we're not done. Sanhua. <laughs> yes, Madam Magistrate. I will be going on a temporary leave. During my absence, please help me handle my responsibilities in Jinzhou. Understood. Should I continue protecting that rover? No need. Both Chan Li and I will be away, and there will be more than enough paperwork for you to handle. Is Lady Chong Li leaving for the capital? Please pardon my intrusion, but he just faced an ambush in the Central Plains. Regarding that incident, we tried to warn him about the Frax. If he runs into another powerful enemy like Sanhua, you can place more trust in Rover and me. Understood. My lady, no matter what happens, my sword is always yours. Both the interrogation and my appointed meeting with Rover have already finished. Scar only needed the two of you as his audience. We already knew what he wanted, and we let him have as much. He decrypted every message we intended to convey. It's only proper you meet him in person. Such intricate puzzles. I guess only no detail is too small. I'm sure he understands. If everything goes according to the prophecies of Jue. So, what did our captive- That Jue had predicted I will have to fight it one day. A fight that will shape Jinjo's future. Well, that is unexpected. Can't say I am. I had suspected as much from our previous conversations. Where was it when you last sent- It was- in Mount Firmament. The place where the first people of Jinjo lived. I'll find Jue. Our enemies could have planned it as a trap. I understand. I will not let anything or anyone... Would you let what you heard from Scar? No. He cannot ever turn me against Jue. I am the Magistrate of Jinjo. The prophecy speaks of a decisive incident for Jinjo's future. My job remains unchanged. Is that your final? A single strand's neglect births mountainous upheaval. The safest option is for me to go in person. Very well. Since we are already mid-game, I will let you decide our next move. This time, I shall be a pawn in your hand. Remember, I will always stand by your side. Am I a player or a mere pawn? I suppose there is no difference at this point. No matter what, I will do what I must. Okay, so hopefully this is going to drop us out in the thing and we can close this episode out. Man, that was really, really long. I try to, I really try to limit these to about a half hour, but it just didn't give me the option this time. All right. So anyways, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and it will show and it, you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click the join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. Uh, if you're not interested in a um, uh, membership but would like to support the channel, you can always leave YouTube's version of a with that thanks button direct contributions such as these are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig which is a dream so again thank you very much for your time hope you enjoyed the episode be sure to come back for the next one and i'll see you then